Well, as the summer travel ramps up, so of course does the heat. Making a splash, of course, one way to beat the blistering sun, but there's a lack of lifeguards all around the country, which could not only be dangerous, but it could force families to find some other ways to try and stay cool this summer. News Nation's Paul Gerke is live tonight at Manhattan's Gramercy Park. So, Paul, what does this nationwide shortage mean? Nicole, it might mean a lot more closed pools like the one behind me. Memorial Day is supposed to mark the start of summer and pool season for a lot of us around the country. But beating the heat now might not be as simple as heading out to your local aquatic center because a national lifeguard shortage is sinking some places' plans to open. From Columbus to Clearwater, from Charlotte to Chicago, it's swim season, and for the second straight summer, there aren't enough lifeguards. According to the American Lifeguard Association, a shortage could prevent about a third of the country's 300,000 plus public pools from opening. Like everybody else, if we don't have enough lifeguards, we have to shut down pools because we're not going to open up a pool if we know it's not going to be safe. Long Island is hundreds of people short. Philadelphia only had enough lifeguards to open a fraction of its outdoor pools. Just three of 12 public beaches in Minneapolis were guarded last year. It's a safety concern and a big time bummer. I know when I was a kid, I enjoyed getting out there to those, you know, splash zone type places. So I'd be disappointing, unable to go to those just because of a shortage on lifeguards. The cause behind the shortage is multi pronged. The pandemic is surely a factor. So is the job market. Other companies now are coming in that are, that are paying more money to these 16, 17, 18 year olds. I mean, you know, you got to compete with Amazon and Target and Chick fil A. There also just isn't as much help as usual. The war in Ukraine has had an impact on the J-1 visa program. Not as many young people are coming over from Europe to work summer jobs. I know a lot of kids, they come over for the experience of the U.S. and hopefully, you know, in years to come, they'll be able to take advantage of that situation. But for this year, it's, uh, you know, they, they've got to take care of themselves. That's priority number one. One experienced lifeguard told me this presents a snowball effect because fewer lifeguards means less lifeguard training, which increases the chance for drowning incidents. It also means fewer swim lessons being taught at pools like this one, too. Interestingly, some people are presenting a silver solution to this problem, Nicole, as in silver hair, senior citizens, retirees looking for something to do this summer that might have some relevant experience and be able to help out. Yeah, maybe not a bad idea because, Paul, I know it is hot today there in New York City. All right, thank you. As, do, as we do remember, thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.